We're very fortunate here at the National Test Pilot School. We have great airspace and great flying weather. We have agreements with the FAA and with the Air Force and the Navy to be able to use the 2508 restricted area. It gives us a big area in which to operate and uh, specialized uh, airspace uh, restricted areas for things like supersonic and spin testing. Uh, for the helicopters we've got uh, you know, plenty of area and a variety of terrain to operate in. And the flying weather out here in Mojave is uh, fantastic. We get you know, over 300 good flying days of weather a year. And the weather is normally very great. So of course for a testing activity uh, this is very important. You want really to have uh, very good conditions in order to collect a good data. Mojave Air and Spaceport is very predisposed towards assisting with flight tests and flight test training. They know about flight tests, it doesn't scare them, they really help us out in coordination for, for our training efforts. A nice big airport where we can uh, operate lots of different types and uh, sizes of aircraft and also the proximity to a large amount of the local aerospace industry. Here at the National Test Pilot School we make use of about six different buildings. We directly lease three of the buildings and then we have uh, associated subcontractors who work in the other buildings. So we have a lot of hangar space for aircraft, a lot of classroom space for students. Some of those facilities, we have eight different classrooms that can be utilized uh, for the different courses. Around the airport, we have different uh, facilities and courses that we use. We have a ground speed course, an aeronautical design standard 33 course, a low air speed course, tower flyby course. Uh, we have numerous labs here at the school. We have a telemetry lab. We have a radar sim lab, EOIR labs that we set up as required, clear demonstration labs, we have an unmanned aerial vehicle lab, variable stability laboratory, a night vision goggle laboratory, and then we set up loads and structures labs as we need to. We have a mobile instrumentation van in addition to our telemetry room. Wide variety of simulators at the school. We have a variable stability simulator based on the uh, X-plane model. We also have a fixed wing and a rotary wing fly at sim that we utilize as bridging the gap between our academic exercises and our demonstration flight exercises. We also have our Falcon Simulation Lab where we can do various radar intercept profiles, air-to-air, air-to-ground. The Falcon Simulator is, can be uh, hooked into our telemetry lab so we can have students flying the actual Falcon Sim itself doing the radar intercept or air-to-ground profiles while the other engineers are in the telemetry room acting as though they're controlling the experiment. Same thing can be done with our variable stability simulator, so we want to make sure our students get a lot of time to work various different telemetry room exercises so they have that experience when they go back to their home organizations.